Mm. I think this is really special. I like how small it is also. Anyway, what do you got to say? You, I know you do your little intros. Welcome to War Mode. Friends boyfriend, they must give girlfriends loves, gifts, and cares. Daddy, horny, Michael. Daddy, chill. What the hell is even that? Is if companies can pay women less, yes. why don't they hire all women? Well, that's a whole nother story. Fuck me, fuck yeah. What would happen if all American aid to Israel were stopped and the Israelis had to shut down their arms business? What happened to that country? It would be a disaster. Why? Get John fees. Fuck. They're like gold diggers. How are you, baby? What do you want with me? He just wants to meet you. What do you eyes. want with me? How old are you? What does he want with me? He don't know me. What do you want with me? How old are you? What does he want with me? He don't want me. He don't even know me. What do you want with me? You're almost double figures. Could someone talk to me? When I'm driving, I got a guy on the radio who talks to me. I can't see him, but he talks to me. And if I told you to staple a dog's dick to your fucking chin and walk up and down the street picking a cigarette buzz, you would do it. You wouldn't ask me why or whether you believe in it or nothing. You go look for a dog. Do it! Now! Before it's too late. The hour is nigh. Uh, you, you, we're going to prove now that the, that they, that the, the press uh, play, you know, try to... They're admitting it. They're, the press is admitting it. You find it in the spiritual tradition like crazy that people who are really close to God, the devil hates them. Up yours, woke moralists. We'll see who cancels who. And you've just given me a condescending look. And that's another reason, reason why we need feminism. And now I'm done. Thank you right. so much. What would I have done? Yeah. I would have done a legitimate a legitimate investigation to find out what exactly happened on 9-11. How did they know who did this so quickly like they did Lee Harvey Oswald? Who's going to investigate the investigators? Who's going to investigate the prosecutors? Who's going to hold them accountable? Who's going to hold us public officials accountable? And that's all we're trying to do here, among trying to, in, in addition to trying to find the truth. Do you honestly and truly in your heart believe that Sandy Hook actually happened? Yes or no? no. All right, number two. And I'm here to tell you, 1776 will commence again if you try to take our firearms. Because you're in jail. Secretary Clinton. It's only just begun. All right, we're in this bitch. So, what's up? <laughs> yeah, just get a better setup, like a fucking table or something. I'll, yeah, I'm, I need some sort of producer's day. I, I wear a lot of hats, bro. Just like a little thing with, so you're not reaching for the laptop. Yeah. And then you can still move around. I also don't feel comfortable with the laptop sitting on a pillow that's directly over my fucking no, crown like, jewels. No, can't you just put it right there? I can't, but then, like, you know, my eyes, like. Well, you got the bad ones? Yeah, I got bad fucking look. I got bad cheaters, like real bad cheaters. All right, whatever. Yeah, but, you know, what's up with you? Oh, we're going to do that? <laughs> Just say what's up with you. What do you mean? I'm not doing, obviously I'm not doing good, dude. Just fucking talk about your topics. We have topics. We have, we have everything. Oh, you, okay, man. You just want to know how I'm doing. I'm just checking. <laughs> I'm fucking, like, what the fuck uh, is this? Nothing. Uh, <laughs> I smell like a fucking freak show. I'll smell like you a freak. You just got your hair cut. You want to talk about that? You want me to talk about <laughs> my haircut? What I did was a 10-month discipline journey. I was going to get a roll for Gillian Keeves, and then I wound up not getting it, so I had to get my haircut. Yeah, right. Yeah. For all days. Well, I think I got it more of like, I want to look like a boyfriend. What? I want to look like a boyfriend. Oh, you want to look like a boyfriend? I want to look like someone's boyfriend. Yeah, well, that you can, and, I, and you're lucky. You're lucky that you can. Just get. You I know? mean, I I feel you're like, lucky that they feel safe when they're near you and stuff like that. You know. <laughs> what do you mean? Like you look like a you look like a boyfriend. A protector. Yeah, you're lucky. Yeah, you're lucky. Yeah, I just I, feel I look like, like an intruder. <laughs> oh, no, <dude. laughs> you just you just look like you you have a boyfriend haircut. Sure, man. Sure. I just feel like if you get one that's normal enough, you can't get the freshie because if you get the freshie, you just look like an f boy. All right, dude. 
you're dive bombing this. What are you doing? Just getting just getting a normal haircut, dude. That's all. That's all I did. Felt fucking weird as shit though. Yeah, definitely, a, dude. That was a fuck ton of hair. Yeah, long hair. I didn't feel. It. I just. I looked you were at a freaky long hair. I looked at. It, I was like, dude, this is just. This ain't it. I know. I. I could have been more connected to the earth, dude. But yeah, monks fucking shave their heads. So who's right? I don't know. Your PO. Yeah, legitimately. You want to talk about <laughs> Catholicism? There we go. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah. I'm that, sorry. I'm a podcaster. <laughs> yeah, dude. Very good one. Critically acclaimed. The. Uh, I I got into the PO hole after watching the Shia LaBeouf interview. I didn't know how much of a goat that dude was. I don't know much about him besides the fact that his gloves came to my crib when I was wee. Bro, so he's like one of the dudes who got the stigmata. Yeah. So he was rolling around fucking Italy with the stigmata. Dude, they banned him from going to church. Like the Catholic church banned this dude from going to church, which was fucking insane just because he was so riled up when he was in mass. He was rogue. He was rogue, but dude, like they're jealous as fuck. Like he had a huge, um, like following. People were pumped the shit on him. They were trying to ship him out. Yeah, yeah. Which makes no sense. I don't understand like why people are all like pissed at him. Don't they said, know, dude. I mean, it's not the you know that was what like the 1910s, early or something 1900s. Yeah. yeah. They said he was a bit of a showboat, and I guess they just didn't like that kind of stuff. Yeah, I mean, I wonder if it's real. I don't know, dude. The, from the accounts. From the documentaries I watched, like that dude was talking to people, and like one girl, one Italian woman was like, "I want to go to America to see my son." And he's like, "Why don't you tell him that your husband's gonna die?" And she's like, "What are you talking about? Husband's absolutely fine. Dies in a car accident next day." Now is he a saint? Yes, he's a saint now. Well, I wonder what his miracles were. You need, one, three, you need um, three miracles. Uh there was a few. He 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 helped out. He like cured a lot of people. The other thing he did, like, in they said in Italy or at least where he's from. It's like Jesus, then P.O. Because all P.O. did his entire life was just be in pain. He was sick all the fucking time. <laughs> and then he would be up in his like monastery room just getting thumped by the devil. Yeah. Like legitimately getting the shit. Like come down, black eyes, all that stuff. I feel him, dude. I mean, I got when I was a kid, I got so fucking into that shit. Like how? I got way too into it. Like I thought it was real. Could be. I mean, it might be real, but I mean, if you hit a kid with, uh, if you hit a kid with like hardcore Catholicism, like, I don't think I'm that weird, but I definitely got weirder than everyone else. Dude. I just got into the, like the lore and the mythology of it. Just like I get into everything else. Yeah. So like, I I was like, uh, taping, I used to tape King of Kings when it came on AMC. I would take King of Kings. They had all these movies back in the day that were like religious movies. Was that like the the PAX channel or it was just on randomly? It would be on randomly, but, like, if it came on, I would, like, freak out or if I knew it was coming on. That's another thing I wanted to say is um, I didn't get a chance to tell you. Like, you know what's fucking weird about us uh. now is that if you go to watch something, you go to – you look at you look at it, and then you read what it's about. Yeah. That's fucking kind of new. And, like, it takes True. a lot out of – when I was a kid, you would just turn the TV on and be like, what's this? Yeah. And you'd get like sucked in. You know what I mean? I can and you see would that. just watch a bunch of shit that you normally wouldn't watch. It's kind of like an algorithm, but like with, like with TV. Yeah. But like when I was a kid, I would grab like, uh, if any religious movie came on, I would tape it and then I would make little labels. And I had a collection of tapes. I had all the Rose Bowls. I had all the Super Bowls. I had all the <laughs> You're Star a Rose Bowl Wars. beast? Oh, dude. I, I used to make like. Rose little, Bowl's a legendary bowl game. Orange Bowl. I used to cut out the orange and then I would like glue it onto the VHS. Holy and like shit. I thought I was going to start documenting like all this shit. Like when I got to like 10 or 11. But like when I was like seven and eight years old, I had little notebooks where I would like draw all the myths out, all the Old Testament stuff, all the New Testament stuff that I, that I got into. Then I got into the Book of Saints. I don't know if you ever fucked with the Book What's of Saints. What's the Book of Saints? Dude, like, you know, the saints, like, you can get a book that's all the saints, and it's their stories. I vaguely remember this stuff. Yeah. Vaguely remember, remember Sebastian. Remember when you ripped down them, that place, The Word? They yes. would sell this book. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it would be, like, gold on the side. It looked, like, real legit. I mean, dude, those Catholic stores and those, like, Catholic bookstores like used Jude to Shop. clean up. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, before you figure out that it's a racket, before you figure out that the Vatican does intelligence, before they figure out that they're yeah. a pack of pedophiles... When you're a kid, you're like, these stories are goat. And there is, like, mega truths in it. They I mean, have all the secrets of everything. It's been around for a reason. Universal Church. They pretty much took every religion and was like, what are you guys up to? All right, cool. We'll throw that in Just there. Just put them all together. Yeah, yep. Yeah, I, I used to get really jammed up on fucking exorcisms. Discovery Channel, nah. like, used to run, like, just stupid-ass um, dramatizations 
of like exorcisms and stuff, I was cooked for years, dude. Like yeah, this is insane. I didn't get into the exorcist shit till I was like in my twenties. Really? When I was a kid, none of that was coming around. I, I was watching the shit that's on regular ass TV, watching just like Barabbas was one of my faves. What's Barabbas? It's like so when Jesus goes to die. Oh, okay. And Pontius Pilate yep. goes out there, which is another I'll tell you in a second. Uh-huh. So it's like, yeah, Barabbas. And it's Jesus or Barabbas is yeah, going to get freed. Like, one of them's going to get crucified. Yeah. One of them's not. So they made like the other thing. So I used to watch like King of Kings and Barabbas. I used to like do silence on Go- Good Friday. Like I used to get into this shit, dude. Like, yeah. You know, on a weird level. But um, like what age was this? Like seven and eight. Okay. People started making fun of me when I was like nine. So like, you're like the only, best boy for in church. In between second and third grade, I remember getting made fun of pretty hard for wanting to be a priest. Dude. Like I legitimately was like, dude, this you can talk to God. Like this makes sense. Hit me yeah. with it. Yeah, you know, like show me the way. Cooler and pussy, honestly. I used to like cut out all this stuff and like make. And then I got after they were making fun of me, I got into like Greek myths. It's pretty much the same bag. Yeah, just yeah. Another realm. Just a little cooler. Yeah. Now, when you were like, young, were they like? Would you sing in church? I can't sing though. But I'm saying, like, yeah. would you sing? No, no. Okay, so like I was just wondering if you're like the best little boy. At I'm church. not the best little boy, but I'll tell you what: when we got when we were allowed to be older boys, I took that shit fucking seriously. Yeah, <laughs> you were taking <laughs> pictures of your watch every morning, letting know everyone know what time you get up. No, I I volunteered for every <laughs> wedding, every funeral. Like I was I was available, and it wasn't on some like I get to get out of school shit. It was like I'm about to serve the Lord. Yeah, That's at, at the start, and then when, like once puberty hit, I was like a demon, but. Before, <laughs> before that. Before you were tainted. Yeah, I mean, it was like a natural progression. Like you're watching King of Kings, and you're watching all these movies, like Ten Commandments, Goat. You're watching all that stuff. Those it, movies were so good. Like I remember them playing them in school and shit. Like they're legit. I would watch them today and be like, "This is pretty." Like f- as far as like shows on TV go, they're pretty fucking good. Well, that's what I'm saying. Like, so I had an interest in that stuff, and like I'm flipping channels. And when I'm a little kid, I'm flipping channels, and then I hit like Life of Brian. And Life of Brian is like a Monty Python movie, but it looks like a Christian movie. Like, it looks like a Catholic movie. Oh, so it's like a joke about it's Christianity? A, oh, big time. Oh, and uh, so made it. then I'm like, I start watching that. I was like, this is fucking hilarious, which is another fucking thing I'll tell you about that pisses me the fuck off is the trannies took that shit away. What? Monty Python and Kids in the Hall. Two of the funniest shit. When, I, when you're really young and yeah. like you can't understand a ton of jokes... Dudes dress like chicks. The stupid stomach. makes you laugh. Yeah. Dudes dress like chicks and dudes just doing dumb noises is yes. as funny as it gets. Dude, and that like, was that's like the whole th- the whole thing with kids in the hall and Money Python is just dudes dress like women. <laughs> and like I would just laugh. I'd be like, "Holy shit, that's a dude dressed like a girl," and just be like, "I'm watching something funny. This is great." Yeah, there was a weird section in um, grade school where. I would say it's like third to fifth grade where you just did weird voices to each other. Right? Like you weren't talking and it was just like weird ass fucking voices you would all do to each other. It's the dumb. Like, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like you're just participating in the dumb. Yeah. Like watching, watching Money Python, watching Life of Brian and being like thinking it's going to be a Christian movie and then watch, and then there's like Bush in it. I remember getting torqued because there was like Bush in that movie. The an- the angel was on your shoulder and the devil followed it up in Life of Brian. Like, <laughs> yeah. The devil appeared on your shoulder <laughs> once that happened. Yeah. But yeah, I mean, you can get into that. I understand. I feel for, for Shia LaBeouf for getting into that. I mean, dude, if you're fucking punching on women and you have nowhere else to turn. I don't. What what did he do? Allegedly, he... The, so I watched the whole two-hour thing with John Brenthal or whatever his name is. And... He had a girlfriend or a wife. It's real fucking hazy because he's jumping around. He's like a hardcore AA head. But he like allegedly put his hands on a girl, but not the way she's saying it. And then he goes off like mo- multiple times, talks about his cold sores that he got. And he got them from his mom. They come up two times a year. And like there's text making up stuff like he was putting makeup on his balls to hide the cold sores or like on his dick to make- hide the cold sores. So I think he knowingly transmitted STDs to other people and maybe punched on a chick. It's called stealthing. That's an actual name for yeah, that? Yeah. People do that as like a fetish or what is this? I don't know. You know that's not my world. That's treacherous, dude. You know fucking's not my world. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. God is. Let's talk about Catholicism yeah. again. Yeah. yeah. But yeah, he got he got 
real drawn into that stuff just because he was going through the most rugged of times. Which, like, that, that whole actor thing, like, for some odd reason, they always degenerate into, like, weird tough guys. Like, De Niro had the, like, um, the mafioso type thing that he just kind of fell into. It's like, dude, you're just an art fag from, like, some yeah. art school. You, you're not tough at all. <laughs> like, you've never thrown hands. You're just weird. You probably bang young chicks in France. You got called out for that. You, that probably Film, happened. Filming Ronin, great, great flick. Yeah, so oh. Shia LaBeouf's the same stuff, but instead of the gangster fucking bada bing shit, it's like weird Vato LA fucking weird shit. Yeah, yeah, they talk weird. I can't deal with it. They, yeah, it's an it's an accent. From like nowhere. I know I have an accent, but I'm not the only one. But you can put a finger on it. Like he jumps from everywhere where you're like, yeah. dude, are you AI? You seen Gone Bad? Watch that thing about the fucking ref. Oh, I want to watch that. So yeah, bad. <laughs> you think my accent's bad? Yeah, my my entire. I just had another fucking shit storm of a week where it's like eight o'clock, and I'm just like, "Fuck, dude, I have so much shit." Yeah, to do. yeah, yeah. I hate I hate when I can't watch a little tube, dude. I feel you. Because I've been going yeah. to, like the only thing I go to sleep is this dude who solo camps with his dog. And I've been just hitting that, going to sleep, and that's it. You are talking about your YouTube hole? My YouTube hole is literally like I didn't even like. As far as Patreon songs go for the Patreon, I have no like I haven't. Even I been, got songs. I got a million songs. I haven't even been crushing tunes, dude. My YouTube. I'm hole in is, a think hole, bro. My YouTube hole is bizarre, dude. Like I'm in a, I'm gone. What do you mean? I'm gone. I'm watching Undercover Boss and I'm and crying <laughs> in the morning. In the morning, I for two days in a row now. You I've turned put, your IQ slider down to sixty. I've put on Undercover Boss in the morning. And, like, I'm it's not good. saying, like, full-on weeping, but, like, dude, if someone does something for someone else... Dude, it makes like, it emotional. I fucking lose it, dude. You know what I mean? And then the other thing I'm into is I probably should look them up, but my phone's dead. But it's guys. One of the dudes is from around here. It's the Hornet Man and the Bee Man. And they go and they take out giant nests. Ooh, that's pretty And it's pretty fucking good. wild, dude. Not a bad hole. Five-foot hornet nests. Well, dude, th- it's crazy, bro. This is my shit, right? <laughs> With all this stuff that's going on, the capital right. stormers and everything, and everyone's like, we have to watch out for what they do. You were left alone. We got into Q. We got into Pizzagate. Capital storm happened. All this shit went down. And now you're just shedding a little tear to undercover boss and watching a hornet's nest. Leave us alone. We're, if you try to fucking take everything away from us, we go crazy. If not, <laughs> we start watching undercover boss and some bee removal. <laughs> It's yeah. like we're no one's that fucking crazy. You have to be like, like uh, what cattle shot into like going crazy at the Capitol. If we're left alone, we just watch anything on YouTube. Yeah, me and you aren't crazy. There are crazy people. Yeah, yeah exactly. There you go. That's what I mean, yeah. dude. Yeah, the uh, where the fuck was I, we don't advocate for any of that stuff. But I don't yeah, I mean that's just disgusting. Even though Trump just stuff. totally fucking queued out. That's another thing I was going to ask you about on the notes. What what did he do on Truth? I have no idea. So you told me he... I just sent you the link to put it in your notes. I, yeah. th- I figured you'd click on it. He lost it and put all this shit up on Truth Social? I, I have no idea. I don't have Truth Social and none of that stuff. But the mainstream media took it first, man. Dude, from what I heard, now they're trying to... like You know they took out um Gab or whatever the fuck that was? They're trying to do the same thing with True Social, saying it's like horrible. Okay. So now they're like... This is what I'm saying. I don't want to believe in Q... I'll take the L. Just give me the L. Stop doing this shit where we're reviewing plays and you're like, Trump's now retweeting Q shit and now you're saying, oh, this is illegal to look at because once you make something illegal or bad to look at, I'm going to look into it full fucking force. Yeah, I've, I like. Ho- I have a lot of hope. I've always had a lot of hope with stuff and a hope sigh out. Hopium is going to get me. Obviously. It's just going to be what it is. If you're going to tell me that you're going to, you are finally going to shatter the CIA into a thousand pieces I'm there. That's what JFK said. No shit, bro. I mean, dude, <laughs> that, that's what I'm saying. Yes, like, you, want- <laughs> yeah. you want to call me a smooth brain chud because I just want that? Yeah. Like, I hear that. It's not like I'm going to fucking hurt anyone. It's just like. This is what it is, dude. Ah, that makes you feel good. Maybe he's going to shatter the CIA into a million pieces. Maybe I spend a quarter of my day driving around like, yeah, the FBI in a million pieces, or the CIA is in a million pieces. This is great. That's all it is for me. And yeah. then instead, it's just like pure mockery. When you guys been wrong about literally everything, fucking that bitch from the CDC. Andrew T was kid. on uh, Tucker Carlson talking about that. About what? Just like when are they like how are they going to go back to normal life? 
when are they going to start to admit that the like wearing a mask makes no sense? Dude, like they're coming at Tate, they're taking them off of all those social Tate Beach. things. Yeah, Tate Beach. <laughs> Jordan Tate, yeah. If yeah. you want to learn how to make money on TikTok, reposting videos of him. Yeah. Yeah, the uh the craziest shit is though, like it's now like the science. Like the science that everyone's like jerking off about the masks don't work. UC Berkeley is now saying you got to wear a mask if you, if the flu season's coming up, if you're not flu vaccinated, now you have to wear a mask because you're not flu vaccinated. Well, that if you're going to school. If you're going to school. Yeah, right. But like dude, the flu vaccine, I never I've never taken that shit. And now like it, like at this point this is what fascism is. I do believe that it's some kind of a psyop, but I have spent most of my week balls deep in the CIA, so. Yeah, you start looking at everything with a yeah. side eye. Once yeah, you do yeah, that. yeah. That's what I mean. But at least you got some like good documentaries though. What do you mean? You got the the refs fixing games and then. Oh yeah, one. that was good. Yeah, yeah. Sure. I mean, you made me happy for, I would say half a day just making me remember about N one. N one was wild. Did you? You didn't get to see it. Yet. Still didn't right. see it. Yeah, that was a good one. All like it was. It's insane how little they got paid. Definitely. Yeah. Like it was every fucking where I would sit down in my basement and just dribble a basketball around fucking poles forever, dude. And I would go outside and just fucking play basketball, come home, watch the N1 mixtape over and over and over again. Yeah, the merch, the sales were pretty insane. They had it on video. So these guys would go play. Uh, they they put up numbers like some guys were getting 75000 some guys were getting 15000 And then after the game, it would be like everyone trying to buy shirts. Everybody oh, yeah. trying to get buy merch. It, they were awesome. Yeah. And, like, dude, if you had a pair, like, it, N1 was great because... The regular basketball shoes were real fucking expensive, and I was only getting dripped out at Col- at Coles. When right. I was I was of it, I was only I was Lee pipes N one. I got a pair of blue sneakers one time from Coles. I got destroyed, my life destroyed. So as long as you get your hands on some N one clothing, that was nice middle of the road gear where no one could really break your balls. That and no fear, no fear is some of the most hardcore drip. That was around planet. when I was little. You had no fear. No fear was around. But I never got any na- name brand stuff, but uh, and one was like after me. Yeah, and, and one and one didn't become popular till I was like way in, deep into high school. Yeah, I mean it makes complete sense that those guys didn't get paid because a lot of them were too fucked up to get into the league and like were just criminals. So like, you you can make a fuck ton of money off them and they just ditch them. The, at the end of it, the guy says if he could have done it again, he would have given them stock options. And then one, he would have paid them. Yeah, he would have. Con- he would have. Grab them as employees instead of like signing contracts with sports players. Yeah. Would have grabbed them as just you're an employee of A1. Here's your health bennies. Here's your stock options. That would have went the distance. That would have been awfully nice of him yeah. to do. Yeah. Instead, he just made fuck tons of money and fucked them all. Hey man, hindsight's twenty twenty. Dude, what is this uh, thing you sent me with the uh, Nora Vincent dude? No, what is? I don't know. What is it? It's a guy. It's author of Self Made Men. And he died by assisted suicide. I have no idea. Like, he sent me a thing. It's a a chick who became a dude because she thought dudes. Oh, were living that's on, dude. Dudes that's were living the girl. On easy Do you remember mode. when the girl went undercover? Do you remember no. when the chick went undercover as a dude and was like, "Holy shit, dudes having a hard time." From the red pill. No. Do you remember when the girl? There, so she's famous for being um like a journalist, and okay. she she dressed up like a dude and lived the life of a man. And then, Two like, years. she thought she was going to be, she thought it would be different. And then she wrote a whole thing being like, yo, men have it tough. They get treated like shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I guess she's been on hormones and stuff, and she killed herself. Dude, she died by assisted suicide. Yeah, yeah. It's the same thing. I, is that That's only, like, legal in Portland, right? I don't know. That must suck. Yeah. I mean, dude, imagine you have the world by the balls and you're a chick, and then you're just like, I'm going to show them how easy it is to be a dude. So. Oh, yeah. Well, welcome to being invisible. And there's just a bu- <laughs> there's just a bunch of guys just fucking yeah. going to work, drinking coffee. Sometimes you fucking get a wet fart. It almost happened to me on Wednesday. No one's perfect. Like y- you can't handle that. I don't know if her hormones did that to her, but I know that she would get on the bus and stuff and realize the big difference of getting treated like when a woman walks on a bus and between when a man walks on a bus. Dude, like when a girl walks on a bus, everyone looks at her. Yeah. All the dudes look at her, and when a dude comes on, it's like everyone's looking at the dude but pissed. They're just mad they're taking up space. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like, no one's pumped to see you <laughs> no, ever. No, no one's ever pumped you gotta to see like you. You got to be like a crippling hot this, dude. How many times did I tell you this week? People were like looking at me all pissed off. Yeah. And I don't understand why. 
But sometimes, <laughs> sometimes maybe you just take take people's gaze the wrong way. Yeah, I guess, man. Whatever. But yeah, they're dead. Like when it comes like at the dump, you back up the hill and dump the trash truck. I ne- I'll close a dude's door every now and then if they're a fucking old timer. I'll close your door. If you're young, won't do shit. A chick from a trash company came up, like a chick driver, immediately opened the door for us. Yeah, no problem. Yeah, right. <laughs> and dude, like, wasn't even like a real hot chick. It's just a chick. Right. So, I mean, you want to call us living on easy mode. This shit sucks. Yeah, it sucks. Man. And like, she looked like a normal looking chick, too. Yeah. That fucking blows, bro. Yeah, there's other shit you sent me just creeping me the fuck out. The synthetic embryos with no sperm or eggs. Yeah. Looks what like is they're that making at organs. that point? I have no idea. I'm just, I was giving you topics. I was hoping you would look into it. Oh, dude. Yeah. Uh, I fucking, I almost lost all my gear yesterday. Okay. Hey, man. You <laughs> I know, was, you, I was said, you said, I was like, yo, listen, Bill, get some fucking, get a thing, yeah. get some topics together. Yeah. You know, if you don't know anything about the topics, don't bring them up. I was just wondering if, yeah. you, I mean, that's just creepy as fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Also, are you allowed to kill that? I think it's just going to be organs. I don't think it's a whole person. If they if that's how they start making grub, dude, I'm out. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna have us eating people. Don't worry about that. Not people, but I'm saying they can make like meat on petri dishes and shit now. Yeah, I don't think they're gonna make human stuff. You never know. I don't dude. think so. Yeah, there's, I think we're safe. <laughs> there's some sick fucking yeah. tickets out there. Yeah, the uh the shit with the lady from the C D C was insane. Uh, what's that girl's name? Wen? Oh yeah, she said that it did uh psychological damage to her kid to wear the mask. Dude, did you read the whole article? No. Holy fuck, the numbers that are coming out right now because of everyone, like all the teachers and shit wearing masks, like not bragging, called it. We all, me and you as a podcast call, this is going to happen. Like mental health is going through the roof, like problems, like self-harm. It's like up 366%. And like people are going down like 20, like kids are 20 IQ points lower than where they should be because they can't see the mouse or anything like that. Yeah, I believe that. Yeah. And it's fucking insane. Yeah, people don't understand the experience of education. I don't understand how this lady can just come out and be like, oh, yeah, it's not that good of an idea anymore. We're just shouldn't mask. Hey, man, I don't know what's going on. It's fucking bizarre. It's yeah. a bizarre thing that they're... I don't know what's going on. This is absolutely insane hyper-normalization shit where people, Literally. Are, people are saying crazy shit. You know, it's like a whirlwind of media stuff. Yeah, this is like textbook hyper-normalization yeah. at this point because like, you can go find anything you want and it's a legitimate article from a legitimate place saying that you are right yeah it's fucking nuts yeah i think i mean that's why strictly it's just vibes (laughs) you hit me with something i'm just like does it feel good or not and i just keep it fucking pushing yeah yeah the the other fucking speaking of like shit and embryos and just pure future mode they're now coming out this thing called digisexual which dude some something we could look into okay it's like th- through all this time of like everyone Skyping now, LDRs, are you familiar? No. Long distance relationships. Okay. With that, Skypes, there's, um, I think they're called Digi Dildos, maybe, where like you can control it from somewhere else and they're coming out with a whole new like subset or like, I don't know if this would be a sec- like a sexuality or fetish or some shit. This doesn't make me feel good. What? Just this talk doesn't make me feel good. It, dude, this is just like coming out in articles, and they're trying to say how it like might be better off because the only way people are getting sniz now is through technology. So just saying they're digisexual. Oh, uh, you're making me really depressed now. <laughs> yeah. They're digisexual. Your or, topics are getting me so depressed. Or robosexual. <laughs> okay. You could just robo pill the fuck out. They they said that one of them. One of the most high-profile figures in digisexual space is Dave Cat, a self. Uh, I don't even know if I want to do this podcast anymore. Why? <laughs> this just doesn't feel good. Self-identifying <laughs> robosexual, a person attracted to humanoid robots, has said he met Sidor, his synthetic wife, composed of PVC skeletons and silicone exterior, at a goth club in 2000. But he also acknowledges that he bought a she life or a life-size real doll after a close friend put him onto the site she chan she calls her in pet name wears a wedding band that matches his and reads synthetic love lasts forever hey man i was having a good time in the driveway listening to tunes you know this is just i mean the fact that they're trying to push it's like a weird fucking transhumanist agenda this shit's going on i mean i'm sure there's a market for it but it's just because everyone's so lonely 
Dude, real dolls are fucking mega bucks. Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm sure there's guys that are in the middle of nowhere that would buy it. True. Yeah. That must be nuts. If you slip the ring on that thing, it's like, you're mine forever, baby. I don't think anybody's doing that. <laughs> Dave Cat yeah. did. What, he married it? They have a wedding, but matching wedding bands. Synthetic love lasts forever. All right. <laughs> what else do you got? <laughs> I went to a My Chemical Romance concert this okay, week. Okay, yeah, tell me about it. It was honestly not that bad. Like the there was a lot of like it was it was like almost like Halloween. But I mean, I saw the goat band Devil Masters. That's all I stayed for. F- shout out Frank. Saw Devil Masters. Shit was not. It was like it was actually good music. I'm not like much of a death metal kind of guy, but I mean they sounded good and everything was real normal. But the weirdest shit was like going in there. One thing is uh, that whole entire area is just cashless. Like, you can't use cash to buy anything in there Yeah, saying that thing about Starbucks. Still, four bucks went, like, they're saying allegedly they're completely cashless. Yeah, cashless, yeah. There's no, I mean, is that like. I don't know. I was listening to that uh, Catherine Austin Fitz saying to go cash, uh, to go all cash. But then uh, I hit the French with that thing saying that she, so she has a theory that the, BIS Bank stole twenty one trillion dollars from the Pentagon. Yeah. That means that they that the BIS Bank owns every American citizen sixty five thousand dollars. Is that how much the French it literally turns out that that's trillions the, we're talking? Yeah, the French literally laughed at that. And so that might that may or may not be debunked. But uh I don't know. I don't know what to believe about any of the financial stuff that I hear. Because I don't understand the second you start talking to me about interest rates and shit, yeah. my brain just goes off. I clock out immediately yeah. once, I, once I, can't, I start. I don't do numbers, dude. I'm an abstract thinker. <laughs> I can't I can't say what enough. Yeah. Like when you start hitting me with that stuff, I just get real fucking confused. And then like they, they have a brief. Yeah. So just switch gears here. Wednesday when we were supposed to do chaos, obviously I got my fucking wash and dryers fucked up. I went and dropped it off at a place, thought it was all good. When I showed up there, like it was the normal like it was just bags and she's like oh you got they thought i was the greenbergs which obviously just obviously not, not yeah. just not the greenbergs Don't put that on you. Yeah. McCusker's my last name get it right i picked this shit up and like i was terrified because like bring it home three of the shirts are mine three pairs of underwear are mine and then it was just mixed with just like little kids underwear chicks clothes Dude's clothes, like yeah, a whole. Not giving a fuck. I may have gotten mixed up with the Greenbergs, which I still have some of their clothing, which I'm, I'm gonna have to bring back. Oh yeah, okay. the fucking. I go back there, and I was like, "Yo, none of this stuff's mine. Like, I have three shirts, and that's it. Like, you didn't switch up my order. Like, you have some of my stuff, but most of it isn't." It's like, "What are you missing?" It's like all of my shit, all of my pants. Like all my. I was sitting there driving back and forth. Like, I'm going to have to spend 500 bucks on clothes. I'm going to have to buy every single pair of work clothes I have. They're all worn in the way I fucking want them. Like, my work pants are on, like, the last three months of pure bliss until the fucking knees just blow out and I just look like a dickhead and I have to buy winter work pants. The clothes, dude, obviously, sorry, Uncle Charlie. It had the best gear from Uncle Charlie. All of my, like, there's a tie-dyed Jimi Hendrix t-shirt that I just got to start feeling right. And this has been, like, two years of wearing this fucking thing. And it's thing. gone. This stuff's gone. Dude, I go back there, and I'm like, I like I don't have any of my stuff. She's like, how many t-shirts? Like, I don't know. Like, it was 36 pounds. I had, I gave you 36 pounds of clothes, and now I don't have any gear except f- three shirts and some boxers. And she's like, uh, we're going to, this is going to take forever. Like, I don't know what to tell you. I was like. Can we look? She's like, I guess we're gonna have to look through all of it. It's like, I don't have. I'm at like the bottom tier of my gear, where I'm wearing like boxers that make my dick hurt. Right. Like it just rubbing gets my dick all weird. I don't have a hood, so like this is a whole, it's a whole different ball game. Don't know me. how you live, dude. It, dude, it fucking hurts, especially when you're getting all sweated up and stuff. And you got like, I usually wear like nice, comfortable boxers. I spent some decent money on boxers that are fucking comfortable. I enjoy them. And I have like four pairs that are just like, in case of emergency, the bottom of my laundry. So the lady puts three bags on the table and just goes, you're going to have to look through it. It's like, we'll just look through random people. Like, you want to help me? Like, I can tell none of these are mine. It's cheetah shit. I have nothing (laughs) cheetah. No animal. This makes no sense. And her and this chick just look at me with a blank face. Like, we're just going to have to get your number. 
So I, I have a, at this point, my head hurts. Cause I'm like thinking of shit I have to buy. And I'm like, fuck dude, I'm trying to save up some more cash. I don't feel like buying gear at all. Drive home. I get home. They're like, Mr. McCusker, I think we have some stuff here. That's yours. It's like, Send me a picture. I'm not going back. I've already been there twice. So I thought yesterday I was going to go home, grub out, go to a viewing, come over here. I go back there and it's five of my pants. And they're like, like, that's all you have t-shirts. Like, yes, I have t-shirts. Like, are they dress shirts or t-shirts? Like they're fucking t-shirts. I dropped them off there here the whole time. I don't want to lose my cool because these people have to look for my clothes and they don't seem like they take attitude that good. So I was just like, yeah, if, if you can find them, just give me a call and just walked out. Just fucking Winnie the Pooh. You were praising it. this place with the deal you got. It was 36. It was a dollar a pound. Yeah. So I was like, damn, this isn't that bad. I should have known when I walked in there and a guy had a fucking washing machine overflowing with water all over the floor that I was fucked. I had one a laundromat. It was awesome. I'm friends with the lady. Everything works fine there. This was just New Horizons. Washing dryers broke. I was completely fucked. Then I went back home. So at this point, it's like 5 o'clock. It's like I have to grub because I'm fucking starving. And I also have to go to Delaware County to go to this fucking viewing. But then I have no gear to go to the viewing. So then I finally, on my way to the viewing, the chick calls me. He's like, I think we found your T-shirts. Mind you, it says Greenberg on the bag. My name's not fucking Greenberg. All my gears there, I'm completely fine now. I have all my gear, but I had to go to a fucking wedding in my work cl- or wedding, Jesus, funeral in my work clothes, just completely fucked. Yeah, right. That was the beginning of the day, mind you. This this in the morning, I'm watching all Padre Pio shit. The man's powerful. It's a powerful <laughs> ass fucking priest. And like I I went into the documentaries. I wasn't like I'm so in my head like the same way you're talking about like you were. I never like they never really taught him to us when we were in school. And I remember when my mom was dying, my neighbor like hooked it up so that Pio's gloves That's came mega, over. Bro. Pio's gloves came over to the house, dude. Like going back to how like Catholic we were, we used to have um, like uh, my birthday is Our Lady of Lords Day, Tight. and we had like we knew um I can't remember what they're called, charismatic Christians or something charismatic. They is it like, like a group. They like speak in tongues and shit. Yeah, there's Sick. like a whole thing, and like they were like friends of our family. And they went over to Lourdes and got holy water. From Fatima? No, from Lourdes. Oh, okay, okay. So we had, like, gallons of holy water in the house. We had P.O.'s gloves cut. We were trying the Hail Marys, dude. Like, anything. Dude, throw the kitchen sink in. Oh, yeah, dude. Like, and my, like, so when I went to bed, when I was a kid, my grandma came over with us, and she used to do novenas at night. You used to go to sleep to novenas at night? Yeah, I used to lay on the floor, and she would sleep in was my- Was that scary, or what was that like? It was scary because she was old, but like that's what I'm saying. That's she, creepy as shit. Yeah, she was in my bed and I was on the floor next to her, and she would do novenas and she would do the rosary, yeah, and go through the rosary with me and stuff. I used to like just I think- was gone, dude. Like there was <laughs> like, and I took it in my mind into like the same way that I like Lord of the Rings and the same way that I like Star Wars and yeah. stuff. Like when I was a little kid, it, <clears throat> I took like the the Catholic mythology into another. Well, level, on top dude. of the fact that people are telling you this is the sh- this is it, like oh, this yeah, is like, real. This is it's not Lord of the Rings. Like fucking hobbits don't exist. Yeah, it's like and it's like you got to get ready for your sacraments. So I'm like gearing up for fucking sacraments and yeah. shit. You know, like conf- by the time it was confirmation, I couldn't have given a fuck. Too but, horny. Yeah. yeah, I remember seeing a chick. A chick came from Garnet Valley because Garnet Valley did got confirmed. Like, all the CDC kids would come to St. Thomas. Yeah. This chick came in with tits. Like, no girl in my class had tits. Dude, I saw these things. I lost it, bro. Yeah, yeah. You, uh, lo- you, love, the, you love melons. I was a weak, sad <laughs> man when that shit happened. Still has huge tits this day. Shout yeah, out to like, her. dude, when they were like, who wants to be an altar boy? I served. Fucking, they gave, they gave us Catholic surpluses. I wish I lived in the, the realm of the Alps. The with, what? When, like after us, they came out with the Alps, like the hoods, oh, where you look like a wizard. Yeah, I never, yeah, yeah. I never got to do that shit. But uh, so you just had like the fucking shitty. It's like cloak. you look like a priest until you put on the cassock. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Or Damn, the you even know that or, name? Cassock and surplus. I don't know which one's which anymore. But you, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, I used to know so much shit. Like I used to know like Saints Days. I used to know all, all. I used to know the entire fucking thing. Yeah, I mean, it is. And crazy. Like, there's a ton of symbology with like the clothes of the priest wear and stuff like yeah you know i used to get into this stuff when i was really little and fast up forward. until i was about probably 10 i mean we had religion class like you had a memorize I had religion all the class so we were like in fucking senior year in high school yeah same here yeah. 
I mean, you, it sucks because like you learn all that shit, and then like you watch a few documentaries about like pizza and stuff, and then you see a Vatican mass <laughs> where they're all wearing the pedophile yeah. symbol. But dude, I watched that the PO documentary. His death is some of the most goat shit in the world. This dude was obsessed with the Virgin Mary, like yeah, pray the rosary like crazy. And when he was dying, he's sitting there in his room. And he's like saying, there's like two, I see two people. I see two people. And it was his mom and his friend, Mary. And he goes, there's a third person. I can, he's like, I'm not losing it. I see these people. And they just kept saying Maria over and over. He saw the Virgin Mary and he told the dude, he's like, yo, peace out. You don't got to be here anymore. He got completely normal. He looked 20 years younger, allegedly, and just started saying Maria, Maria, Maria until he was fucking, it was out. That's crazy, man. It's fucking like tripping. What? That's what I'm yeah. saying. Like, I think of that yeah. shit and like the DMT stuff. And it's like, dude, if that's, th that's what I said right when I came out of DMT. I was like, dude, if that's it, like, let's go, bro. Yeah. But I, I don't know. I feel like those guys, some of the saints that are connecting to God or whatever, it is a big deal for them. They're tapping it's into real, something. It's real to them. Yeah. Yeah. They're definitely tapping into something. Like if They you, get fuck all out of it. Literally. The saints get like run through the ringer. Nobody believes them. Like, Our Lady of Lords, St. Bernadette, she thought she saw the Virgin Mary. Nobody believed her. Yeah. Now there's, like, fountains. It's a holy day and all that. It's fucking yeah. insane. But, like, I watched that whole thing, and it's the same way growing up with all that Catholicism stuff. I I watched that whole thing, and I'm so fucked up in the head with this shit that I couldn't even fast forward through the dump. So I'm watching, it, and they're just singing for, like, five minutes in mass. It's like a scene of them singing five minutes, and it's like, you can't skip this. Yeah, right. I'm watching the whole thing, like, I want to hit tap, tap, tap on it and get the people talking again. Literally couldn't skip it. Yeah, I mean, I feel for Shia booth because this shit is powerful. If you never had that in your life and then you get hit with that, like especially if you're down in the dumps, people are hitting you with a heavy. I mean, I all those that's like a beyond. Hit with that. That's like beyond me too type stuff. Yeah, yeah. that's <laughs> a fucking. I did it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I I watched that and that was like at the end of my day, and I stop at Wawa because I had a I had a long night ahead of me. I grab a coffee. I grab a water, you know me, and I was like, eh, something to chew on. How about we get a Colby Jack cheese stick from DiGiorno? So I try I try to scan it out, and it's not scanning out. Mind you, I've never stolen anything from Wawa in my whole entire life. And I'm sitting there like, dude, it's not scanning. Mm -hmm. I try to look it up on the thing, and I was like, P.O.'s going to have my ass, dude. Like, But I don't feel like talking to anyone. So I was like, dude, I accidentally bought two Sizzlies on, at Wawa. Or one sizzly at Wawa because it was on the self checkout screen. I wasn't paying attention. I checked out, and the security guard was like, "Yo, bro, you bought a sizzly?" I was like, "Ah, whatever." So I justified me stealing a cheese stick from Wawa because I bought a sizzly a few weeks previous. Okay. And then I get home and I go to pick up all my laundry. All my laundry's fucking gone. Go to the view. So you're living in like an instant car instant karma instant. magical thinking realm. Instant. Yeah. Just from watching this PO shit. Downside of the. Growing up that Catholic, I think it does breed like a magical thinking mind. Which Everything I have potentially is will lead to paranoia. Yes. <laughs> yes. Dude, it doesn't stop there. Go to the viewing, hear some more fucking insane news, then go and I munch. Because I was like, oh, we'll do the we'll do the cast Thursday. I go to Senoritas. We love it there. We got a nice Rito. I'm chilling in the parking lot and I just watch this dude pull up in a van. Big ass fucking transit. You could stand up in the back. The whole thing's loaded with children. Just minding my own business, eating a fucking burrito. And I'm just looking at this guy. like, Van's kind of sick. I'm listening to a podcast. This dude starts backing out of his spot after picking his shit up. I was like, no way. Just sitting there, just eating, just munching on a burrito, staring at the back of this dude's truck. Like, there's no way. He's not going to keep on backing up. Obviously, he's going to stop. Like, I wouldn't honk at me if I was backing up, so I'm not going to honk at this guy. Square in the center of my fucking bumper. And, dude, he... he good? Like, the dent? Obviously. He gets oh. out. We both look at it, and I just go... Bro, it's a work truck. Go ahead. Go yeah. feed your fucking kids. We don't need to fucking do this. And then I just went home. I was like, I shouldn't have stole that fucking cheese stick. Yeah, okay. Had a whole entire fuck night because I stole one cheese stick. But then, like, it's, it's all magical thinking. Definitely. Like, yeah. I would say. But we got into that heavy for a while. 20% of everything I do is if the guy in my head gets loud enough. To the point where he can fucking convince me, like, to turn around and check something. Cause he, well, that's all that new age stuff. What? All that new age manifest, mind manifest, all that shit is magical thinking. Yeah. Yeah. That I, Some people get into it. Yeah. I, I, I have, like, fucking waves. Because there was a time where, like, I would do cardio before I worked out. I would just listen to fucking uh, astrology shit. 
I was into it for a little while and just comes and it goes. Like, oh, this is sick. And then it just goes away. I get it. I get pumped up over other shit and then it just keeps on coming and going. But once shit starts going south, it's immediately like you have to say 10 Hail Marys before you go to sleep. But like, you don't do that. What? You don't say 10 Hail Marys. The fuck I don't. You pray. Dude. Since fucking when? I do it all the time and then I'll stop doing <laughs> Dude, it. Dude, you're such a liar. I swear to God. <laughs> no way. I mean, do you want me to recite the, the very end of it? No, I just I've never heard you say this before. Oh yeah, like yeah, I've go, never heard you say I pray. I go, yeah. I and the thing is, I lose my marbles because I keep my eyes closed while I'm doing it, and every it takes everything in me not to open my eyes because I'm just like obviously open your eyes, obviously open your eyes. Don't do it. Like, I have to close my eyes the whole time I'm saying it. That's crazy. I've never heard you never told me this. Yeah, I I do it all the fucking time, and then it'll go away. Shit will start going south. Like, Obviously, I'm fucking not saying 10 Hail Marys. Say 10 Hail Marys, and God bless literally everyone in my family in birth order, down to the grand, uh, grandkids or my nieces and nephew in birth order, following them. It's all brothers and sister-in-laws. Yeah, I didn't know you were this nuts. It's just something yeah. I do. It, it's like a thing that helps me go to sleep. It was since I was little. My mom would come in. Every, they would sit with me, Mara, and Kathleen. She would say the entire. It would just be like I didn't want to go to sleep yet. Yeah. Because it's either I would just watch a documentary on exorcism on Discovery or what. It's like one last little interaction with a human before no, you No, I remember that. I remember not wanting to go to bed. And just like you, yeah. you said you're going to say prayers with us. Like, yeah. let's go. Like, you got to come in here and say prayers, obviously. If you want to chill and we can talk for a little while, you can also do that. <laughs> that was every single fucking night. Yeah. So you, it's, a, it's just somewhat of a calming thing. For a while it was that. Then I switched to the Wim Hof fucking breathing. And then I was just like, dude, and for a little while, I was just like, I just can't wait to go to sleep. And then it was the same shit I was telling you where I just try to send fucking colors to people I'm thinking about. Yeah, I understand that vibe. Mac got into that for a while. Yeah, just yeah. like give you the fucking good and then go off into my slumber. Although I had to fucking, I have some wild ass dreams, but that's neither here nor there. <laughs> yeah, the, uh. The other shit that was crazy, like speaking of all the Catholicism and stuff like that, is that Project Veritas, it's like legitimately insane that that's even a thing where they say like you can't hire Catholics. Yeah, I don't think it's that as rare as you'd think. I bet you a ton of public schools would do that. I remember there being a little bit of beef. Like I would talk to the kid because like if we played sports, I would talk to the or public school kids when they were coming play i'm like so you guys don't say prayer in the morning like, you don't say shit yeah like, you're not allowed like they were telling me, like we can't we're not allowed to say prayer and i was like this is insanity enjoy hell <laughs> like you're donezo yeah but it's weird project veritas uh up in connecticut obviously it's got to be where connor went yeah but they <laughs> he's a public school i think that uh it's sad it's sad to watch for sure it hurts bros no, it's, uh, minus the Catholic thing, just in general, that they're like, they think they're like activists. They're not worried about actually teaching kids like stuff. Literally. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that's the problem. Like, I can give a fuck if they have prejudice against Catholics. I get that. Yeah, I could understand. You know, I understand that. But when you're sitting there being like, we're going to get them to vote Democrat and stuff. It's like, all right, bud. Like, Dude, take, there was a vote. There was a voting registration thing at the My Chemical Romance concert. That's weird. Like, dude, I'm just trying to go to the Black Parade. You're trying to send me your vote Democrat? That's bizarre. It's insane. Like, I rolled in there. It's at, a like, rock con at a rock and roll concert. Cashless society. And it's like, hey, make sure you vote. Like, yeah. it's like the world is messed up. Why don't you vote? It's like, dude, the guy in front of me is just screaming MCR over and over again. I don't think he knows who's running this year. Yeah, right. Like, take it fucking easy on these people. Yeah, I don't know. It's sad. It's a sad thing. Like, uh... But, like, in the one Project Veritas thing I saw, the guy was like, dude, if you guys were doing your job, I wouldn't even have it. I wouldn't even have a job. I wouldn't even be doing this. I didn't know that O'Keefe confronted him. Oh, he like confronted, the one confronts everyone every time. <laughs> every time he does a Project Veritas. He does Veritas, legit Pop Squad? All the time, yeah. Damn. I wish I watched yeah. him fucking confront that dude. Because that yeah, dude was a he confronted the teachers union. Holy shit. In that shit. one, yeah. Yeah, I, dude, I never understood the whole, like, the pro like when we went to Mechanicsburg, and Shane was like, these people are Protestants, and like they kind of get shitty with the Catholics. I never knew that shit even existed. No, we live in a super Catholic area. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah. I, but like, I don't, I don't hold any ill will in my heart. I don't even know what you're about. 
No, nah, I mean, dude, we just live. We we grew up in a psyop of the Archdiocese of Philadelphia, and it's like super strong. It was like a huge part of my life. Like, I mean, I was adopted into it, sent to the fucking. I was Pits. sent right through the Catholic Social Services into the Catholic Church, and then I ended up after graduating high school painting for the Catholic Church for seven years. Holy so, shit! I mean, put I, I, did, I put it in a shift. I earned it. Yeah. You have. PO I mean, but stats. the magical, the magical thing is there. Like you're, I was up high. You if know, you're painting churches, dude, eight, you're nine, like, I'm doing this for God. Eight nine <laughs> scaffold high, and like you're sitting there being like, well, you know, I'm not gonna, I can't fall. Mm -hmm. You know, like we, I, they just did seven thirty mass. Like, you know, I'm, I'm good. Everyone prayed. Yeah, everyone just prayed. Like when you're up there, just if I'm in your brain and you're touching up these art murals and stuff, like. Are you like I'm racking GBPs up? No, I was just working. But if there's a vibe though, what's the vibe? Like a ch there's like a good like chill church vibe. Yeah, you're doing something good. Yeah, I mean, it, is, it is very awesome to be like when you're in a church and mass isn't going on. That is some of the best. When it yeah, I spend so much time in churches, like with no one there working. That I mean, yeah. Out of all places, I would say that's pretty good for mental health. To be in something that like beauty. yeah for like months i was up in asbury park in a church where i was the only person that spoke english so i for three months i stayed in a motel with mexicans Holy so like i was just shit. totally by myself basically but i was with other people they're just max they were everyone was max i was on a strict diet of just like fucking one pizza place and i was watching hbo how old were you 22 21 I was watching. I was watching. Uh, yeah, HBO. HBO at the hotel in Spanish. Little cat house. I saw um, X Men. In, in Spanish? Spanish. Yeah, when X Men came out. But you had HBO all night long. HBO was one of the channels that the hotel had. So that's not bad. It's not on demand. But I'm like, saying at least this it was rolled. Pre on demand. Two o'clock rolled around. You might get something nice. No, I was in. I shared a room with a dude in his forties. Ah, uh, okay. So there, were, like, what was like? Not to get too like vulgar but what was the jerk yeah, yeah. situation like no jer up, no jerk situation yeah you went no fab the whole time you're up there i w i used to come back and forth and i would uh, i came okay. down yeah i mean we don't have to get in my personal life but i came yeah. back and forth yeah okay I'll but for three months every day at work i was up in asbury park that's insane yeah. it's it's literally worth the drive i did that when i was working in wilkesboro i would just drive back and forth i hate i hate I tried staying there for a while, but like I, no one was talking to me. No one was speaking English. This was before we had cell phones. Yeah, and they all started like snickering and shit. Yeah, they're real you. dickheads. Yeah. Yeah, that's that would drive me fucking up a wall. Yeah. Yeah, the, the living in hotels for my dad can champ it. Like he gets pumped up and does it when we were tearing down some pizza place that it was a manufacturing plant that caught on fire. I would just drive two hours to Wilkesboro every day. Could not. I there was not an ounce of me that wanted to stay up there. Yeah, it's not sweet. I, I fucking I don't know how dudes do that shit where they like go like you get across. tired of driving. That would make sense. Yeah, you get tired of it. You're like I can't keep I can't keep doing this. It's too expensive. I have to stay up here. I'm just saying like the life where like you have to go around the country. I almost took a hotels. job doing that. There's a company called Evergreen where it was like you just go around and you do like state houses. You do like capital buildings. Just because of my skills in the plastering and the gold leaf and stuff and the stencils and all that, you would go and do like some of the fancier painting. Yeah, yeah. And like, but you would go and get um, prevailing wage everywhere you went. So like, sometimes you'd be getting paid like fourteen. Sometimes you'd be getting paid eighteen. Sometimes yeah. thirty-eight. You know, like New York was really expensive, and I almost took that job, but I had a girlfriend here, so I didn't do it. Yeah. Yeah. Happens to the best of us. Yeah. Yeah, I I could not do it. Like going hotel to hotel, like there's something about it. The beds are real nice, but just the hotel vibe, I just I'm not a fan of it. No, nah, the beds were trash. I was in a motel. I was oh. in, yeah. I was in like, you know, it was me and like six Mexicans. Yeah. The only time that was, the sickest time I ever had in a hotel was we went up to Cornell to play basketball in Ithaca, which you ever been to Cornell or Ithaca? I went to Ithaca once. Ithaca is fucking sick, dude. Went up there. We played like in uh, Cornell's gym and all that stuff. And like, dude, it was there was like three girls up there, and then a whole our whole basketball team, Donimos all night long. Like it was an absolute party. But the most rogue shit I ever did was I was sharing a room with my buddy and his dad, and I I it was there. Like I I'm a t I was a TV guy at Hawk. 
And, like, we were just, like, chilling. And, like, he's looking at the TV guide. And I'm looking at it just, like, I'm talking to them, but I'm staring at TV guide. And I see it's, like, 1.30. This show comes on Channel 20. And I just sat there. Like, I don't, he, he had to have fake slapped, dude, because I chucked that shit on. I was just, like, I was staring at it, dude. What it, are you staring at? Pornog. Holy shit, you watched porn with some somebody's dad in couldn't, be, couldn't beat it or anything, <laughs> but, like, the fact that it was available. Yeah, right. I had to do it. Right. Before, like, before I could even beat it, I would just sit there and wait all night long for some, like, either Girls Gone Wild um, infomercials or anything and just watch it until, like, the sun was kind of coming up and I was like, I can go to sleep now. Yeah, you better start saying some more Hail Marys. Dude. <laughs> it, you're a pig yeah it's 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 on the list i mean after after all that po stuff it was just like pure magical thinking land i just have to get back to saying my hail marys i lost my ways yeah i had no idea you did that that's fucking crazy yeah i mean dude i'm not beating my chest about it not saying i'm more catholic than anyone else no no i just think it's crazy it's crazy to say hail marys no it's just weird that you did that like you, that you do it and i've never heard you say it i mean yeah yeah, there's there's not many times where it comes up where it's like, you want to talk about prayer? <laughs> <laughs> it, it just yeah. it just doesn't come up. It's like when I go sleepies, I say prayers. Like we just talk about cool mega shit. No, yeah, cool. I mean, I talk to myself. Yeah, I would say it's a for, it's some sort of form of fucking just calming the calming the nerves down. Because if I can, I mean, shout out Fancy Frank, like that dude swearing by Reiki. It makes me want to get it. Yeah, the bodywork thing for me has definitely been an experience, yeah. my That's how my mom used to put me to sleep. It was start at the head, go all the way down to the toes, relax everything. I, I, if I had to guess, I think there's people out there that can tap into something. Now, there's definitely more going on than I at least can be aware of. That's what I'm saying. And like, I, I'm always searching to get more. To transcend. To just try to understand more of it. Yeah. You know, like, because the shit is there. You can feel it. What does it feel like when they're doing it? Uh, it's really hard to describe. It's not really like a... Oh, this world. It's not really so, something that I can, like, describe, yeah. Right on. Yeah, that ma it, makes you want, it makes me want to do it a lot when I hear about that stuff. Just because I'm, I'm in daddy. I'll try all that stuff. I'm good for it. Like, if you want me to do some... Like, if you tell me about this and say it helps, I'll at least try it out. I don't know, like, dude, I have no idea. I don't think, I don't know if what I'm doing, it's not called Reiki what I do. Right, okay. So I have no idea. Yeah. I just, I'm I'm with it. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> with, I don't know if it's like, because at this point, the way they've been injecting poisons and stuff into us, I'm just, I'll regress and go back into healers and medicine men and just chill with that. Like, they've made me afraid to get any vaccine that now comes out. Yeah, I mean, a lot of them have been fucked up anyway. For but real. Big Pharma is definitely a scary thing. You there, should be afraid of it. You should be afraid of, like, all of these institutions that grew too big for their own britches. They're too powerful. Yeah. They stopped making sense a long time ago. And that includes the Vatican. <laughs> what, like, like, that includes all of this stuff. Like, yeah. you, these things start out innocent. These things start out with good intentions. But then they get deformed. It's just like anything else. Like... Anything else that exists makes sense at the time, but then situations come up and it becomes a perversion. Yeah. You know what I mean? I get what you're saying. It, it almost happens with everything. Like even just it normal happens, companies. It happens with literally everything. That's what I'm saying. Like it perverts itself. It goes too far. Like it wobbles too far. Maybe that's why the founding fathers were so dead set on having little areas rule themselves. I don't think they could have imagined like what we're living this? in now. Yeah, and I like, dude. Like, if you take a look at the Vatican, like, they. I need to look into the Vatican because I just like I know all the talking points and stuff, but I don't know what they're really. You know like, all I'm, talking points. I'm just like I can <laughs> yeah. sit there and fucking say stuff about the catacombs and stuff, but I don't really know the catacombs. Yeah. yeah. Um. Yeah, I mean, dude, they, the Vatican, chat like you, could, you would probably get into the Vatican during World War Two. What about it? Like the Vatican's a fucking power. Did it get bombed at all during World War II? I don't know. That would be dick, dude. You'd have to be fucking brazen to do something like that. Yeah, I don't know. But they uh, they held sway. You know what I mean? Like That's they, fucking crazy. Yeah, they, they existed before countries. So, like, these things sprout up. But, like, like, 
the royal family's still powerful. But yeah. There's no more royal families. Yeah. It's pretty much the same deal. It is. It is crazy. But they're what, all perversions of what they once were. Is what I'm trying to say. Yeah. Once all those hands get in, there's like, once I saw the stuff with um, who's the pope now? Benedict is it? No, Francis. Francis. Once I saw him like getting in bed with the World Economic Forum and the Rockefeller Foundation, I was just like, dude, you want to tell me to go to church and this dude's up to this shit? Yeah, like remember I was telling you I was checking out Jan- James Jesus Angleton. Yeah. He was boys with a Monsignor. They were running intelligence uh, during World War II, and the Vatican was kind of like showing the CIA, like, this is how you do spying. And oh. that Monsignor ended up being the Pope. So this is like some Jesuit shit. Like, they're Jesuits. No, nah, I think Francis is the first Jesuit Pope. For real? I think in a long time. But I'm saying, like, weren't the Jesuits, like, their CIA guys? Like, their special operations guys were the Jesuits, allegedly? Allegedly, but this was just a random Monsignor. We had a Monsignor in my family, too, going back to my Catholic roots and all that shit. Like, I come from, the like, my mom's family's the Monahans. They were coal, like, he, my great-grandfather was a coal miner in Pennsylvania. And then he had kids, and one of them became a Monsignor. The other one did vaudeville. And then the other what? one, then the other one was my grandma. Yeah. Are you fucking kidding me? Yeah. <laughs> and then their cousin Bernard, their cousin Bernard was a Columban monk. Bernard. <clears throat> Bernard. And then when I was a, when I was a kid, he would come back up from Peru. He lived in Peru so long, he forgot how to speak English. So he would come back, and he had like a Peruvian accent. I was literally just talking to a girl from Venezuela about this stuff, where she's getting to the point where she'll remember a word in English, but can't remember what it is in Spanish. Yeah. So he would come up, and we would go for like long walks in the woods, and he would teach me about God. That's I, sick. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, dude, you had it set. You had the whole like. I fucked it all up. <laughs> you could have been a monk, bro. <laughs> oh yeah. That's why I wanted to be a priest, because it's like. We had a Monsignor. We had a monk. It made sense. All of this made sense, yeah. Yeah. We had, like, pictures of him and stuff. I was just, like, a vibe guy like me. We have Frank and Joe and them, their basketball house across the driveway, and they would have the priest from Sally's come in there and say, like, masses and say, like, masses for their sick grandmom and stuff. Turns out the guy was an absolute pedophile. So I, I never really vibed well. With. No, there is bad stuff with the Catholic Church. That's what I'm saying. I, but I, there, but it wasn't always bad. Yeah, it was definitely infiltrated by people that perverted it. That's what I was gonna yeah. say. I, like I legitimately believe the theory that it was infiltrated. Like it would make sense if you're that powerful. It's like, dude, people are running psyops on other countries constantly. You're gonna tell me some other religion or sect or something is gonna not like if the Catholic Church is taking in all that cake, someone's gonna come in and try to fuck with it whether it's infiltration and making like them all kitty touchers or whatever. And I'm not sitting there giving them excuses and saying it's like not the Catholic church doing it, but it would make a lot of sense if they have that much power and all that like weird treasures and pull and all this stuff. They're getting, they're getting fucked with by something. Maybe it's Satanism. I don't know, but something's happening where it's like, just like countries go at it with spies there's some other shit that's come out. Could be a different religion. Could be uh, Muslims. Who the fuck knows? Probably Satanists. <laughs> yeah, maybe. You know what I mean? I mean, Angleton was a super spy in Italy. His dad had his dad was Hugh Angleton. He had a bunch of power in Italy, so he had all these connections. He was a Freemason. He was in the Knights of Malta. So then his son goes to Yale and then just gets a job in intelligence at the CIA, and he ends up in Italy during the war, like, working the Italian desk for the CIA. Holy but it fuck. wasn't the CIA then. It was, like, the OSS. Yeah, the pre-CIA <clears> shit. <throat> yeah, they got tra- he got trained by the British to be an intelligence operator. Jesus, dude. But he had connections no to... No pun intended. He had connections in Italy to, like, the powers around the Vatican. And throughout his career, he used that. That's creepy. Well, it's just... He was, uh... He's, like, the main... He's the main guy. He's the main guy in pretty much every... Every fucking thing that we live in now, he was like the main dude. All right. Well, we we talk about that in the Patreon, my friend. Hold on.